In this video, we're going to run through some examples of editing points and lines. First, we'll start off with a wire, which is a type of line in Esri. So to do this, I'm going to first select the wire line. So I'm going to go and click on my select tool, and I'm just going to draw a box and select it. So I don't have to select this first, but a lot of times I like to make sure I've got the feature selected before I actually make some kind of change to it. So next, I'm going to go to the Edit menu and select Vertices. Uh, this option may also be in your toolbar. So as you can see here, I've got that same icon up there. And when I hover over it, it says Vertices and describes what it does. So it may be a common enough uh, option for you that you might want to keep it up in the toolbar. So now that it's selected, you can see that the blue highlighting is there. And then on each of the ends, it has a, a square. And so this is telling me that I can click and then drag that end around so I can resize it and relocate at to wherever I want. And so now if I uh, let go and then double click, it will then record that wire in the new location. So this is just an example. This is obviously not where I want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the undo button up here in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to click that and it's going to go back to where it was. And I want to show this doing this a little bit differently. So I'm going to go and put this in a different spot. This time I'm going to let go of the mouse and not double click. And instead I'm going to come down to this floating toolbar down at the bottom and I'm going to hit this uh, square with this checkbox, which is called the finish button. Uh, so if I click that, or as you can see, if I hit F2 on the keyboard, it will do the same thing. So I can just click on that, and that will complete the line. So again, I'm going to uh, undo this and put it back to where it was. And if I wanted to, I could you know, do other types of modifications to it uh, to get it to where I want it to be. And I want to show one more option here. So let's say that I had started to do the, that process. And instead of uh, hitting the, uh, the finish button or double clicking, another thing you can also do instead of doing undo while you're still in the middle of this operation is then go into this cancel option. And so if you just click on the square with the X, then it goes back to where it was. So we're gonna get a little bit closer into the, uh, the features in order to see this a little bit better. So this is a good example of the use of reference scale. So I'm going to go back to uh, the contents tab and back to my map and I'm going to right click on it and say set reference scale. So now when I zoom in more you can see everything getting nice and big and so the original problem that I wanted to solve actually was this wire should really be going to the center of this pole and obviously it's uh, on the edge and we really want it to be closer in for connectivity purposes it may not connect if it's uh, to these other um, items if it's not a little bit closer uh, as far as the overall footage in the real world so uh, one of the things i want to do is i want to kind of move some things out of the way and i'm just going to do that uh, not because i need to do that in order to make this wire connect there but just so you can see how things would normally uh, connect up and how they would be edited and moved around. And so, so now we're going to go back and do another selection here. So I'm going to go to map and select. And this time I'm going to select a number of things here just to make it easy on myself. And I really want to move this transformer out of the way. So uh, instead of just trying to click exactly on it, which I probably could have done pretty easily now that it's all zoomed in, I just want to show a different way of being able to do that. And that is to then find it in this list here. And I'm going to click on it and say, only select this. So now this is the only uh, feature that's selected. And if I go back to the edit menu and click on move, now I can move this point feature, this transformer out of the way. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to click my finish button over here. So that's moved out of the way. And I'm going to go back and do another selection. And this time I'm going to select the wire. And I'm going to go to vertices again, so edit and vertices. And then I'm going to move this out of the way. And then let's just you know pretend that this was our starting point. And what we really wanted to do was to have the service wire connect to the center of the pole. Or the transformer should connect to the center of the pole. And this uh, other wire should also connect to the center of the pole. So if I uh, hadn't already selected it, I would select the wire. So I already have that here. 
and I already clicked vertices, so now I can move it. So now watch what happens as I get to the center of the pole. It's now snapping and telling me that it is basically connected to the center of that station. So that's telling me that I'm connected right to that. And now if I say finish, then I've got an exact connection there. So I can do the same thing and I can go and I can select my uh, transformer. And so this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. So I'll, I'll show doing it just by going to the move feature and then I'm going to click on the item and uh, you can see the little yellow circle show up. That's uh, showing me that's where I can click and drag. And so this time I'm going to drag that over also to where it snaps. This time it's snapping to the wire, which is snapping to the center of the pole. So I know I'm good there and I'm going to finish that. So one thing to notice is that normally uh, a feature symbol will uh, display itself centered right in the right in the point where it is located at. So normally this center of the transformer would be right here. So the problem is that if we did that, then it would uh, overlap on top of the pole to such a degree that you really wouldn't be able to see the pole unless you changed the order of your layers or made it transparent. And so, so what we did is we created uh, offsets to move this transformer out of the way a little bit. So the way to think about it is you want to use those snapping tools to be able to snap to the center so that really the way that the map thinks about it, it is the center of the feature, but know that the symbology is actually uh, trying to help make it a little bit more visible and easier for you to see and to, to work with. So it actually then offsets it a little bit so that you can still actually see everything. So the final piece to this is going to be actually doing that final wire, which is really what we started to do in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and select it again. And I'm going to go back to edit and vertices. And then I'm just going to move that in place. And you can see where that's snapping. This time I'll double click. And that actually completes the process. So we have just went and edited uh, both wires, which are lines, and then also a transformer, uh, which is a point.